going on guys, Reviews Toy Jay, welcome to a brand new video and today it's time for the 7th episode of Sprint to the Finish with McLaren. And today you guys have picked Jensen Button, but I think the biggest lead of this series so far by 4 votes to 1. And this of course is my first video after Christmas, I hope you had a very Merry Christmas arc, I certainly did this year. Now before we start this video I'm going to have like a channel schedule sort of thing in the description which will basically say my next, next few weeks maybe Fortnite's um, videos uh, and the date for them. Obviously, if a video comes a day late, then the schedule will be pushed back a day, and if, if if a video comes a day early, then vice versa. But as I said before, we are going with Jensen Button this episode, and obviously that's last episode we were with Paul DeResta, who managed to finish ninth, uh, not ninth, actually, it was ninth for most of the race, until Kimi Räikkönen crashed out of the Grand Prix and got eighth. But with Jensen Button in the better McLaren car and the Mercedes power, well, Force India had the Mercedes power, but the McLaren's probably just a be better built car if you base it on the constructors. Hopefully, we can get even further into the points. But enough talking from me. I hope you've had a very, very, very Merry Christmas, if I can get my words out. Make sure to like the video if you, if you go on to enjoy it. Comment as well about your thoughts and subscribe if you haven't done already. I'll put, no, I'm not doing an outro. Anyway, let, let, let's just get on with it. I think I must have just had too much Baileys in that pudding yesterday. I just completely mucked up that intro. Anyway, let's not muck up this Grand Prix as well. We have five lights. And it's lights out and away we go for the seventh time in this series. Let's have a look how we do. We've actually got a decent start, losing our curse a bit later this time. And it just proves because we're pulling alongside Chilton, even though he's gone a bit further in the straight. And we're going to try... Oh, we've hit... Bianchi and we've done quite well this car just handles better than all the cars we've had so far in my opinion anyway and as you can see we're in 16th place we just chuck it up the inside like we have done in this series very much so so far we've hit Hulkenberg but we've got to get as far as we can we've hit Sutil luckily we haven't took him out and we're into 11th place not a great start considering the few starts we've had in this series but certainly decent we do have the car to keep up with others, but we're going to go out on the outside of Grosjean. Can we do it this time? On the outside, we're side by side with him on the outside into the corner this year, where of course Hamilton crashed and we've got on the inside of Webber. We've ran wide, but uh, oh well, I don't really care. Yeah, we did cause a cl collision there, I must admit, but we are pushing like hell. Here's the rest of the driver we raced with last episode. I reckon we will get past him, but as you can see, he's actually been held up while the Mercedes are ahead of him. And Diresta, now get out the way, Diresta. <sighs> right. Coming up to this corner, we're just going to have to make a dive bomb. No, we can't even make a move. No, we've nearly spun it. Oh, my lord. This is quite an interesting stop. Duresta, get out of the way. Thank you. Right, eighth place. And now we've got our other fellow compatriots. We nearly spin out there. Lewis Hamilton ahead of us. And uh, let's see if we can catch up to him. Hopefully we can anyway. Because I'm just pushing like hell in this car. As you probably just saw with that starting lap then and using half of our curse down the straight Hamilton is 1.7 seconds ahead but this car probably does have a bit more speed in terms of overall compared to the other cars we've had so far but if we're going wide like that we're not going to catch up to Lewis and obviously this will this will um, have this will be our best performance so far obviously if we finish here and I think we actually will because we can't catch up to Hamilton it was Duresta really because Duresta was right behind Hamilton and then he seemed to lost, lose pace and then, really, we were just stuck behind him for a while, which is very annoying. As you can see, Hamilton's gained a second in that sector, which is highly annoying, really. I thought the McLaren would have enough willpower to keep up with the cars such as the Mercedes. And I'm not going to corner cut here. I'm just going to do the corner properly this time. There we go, as I've gone wide again. And Hamilton seems to be about the same distance, if not closer, this time. He's probably gained a better second. But I think he's a bit closer than he was before. Let's have a look as I corner cut pretty badly there. And we've gained a tenth. So, you know, uh, you know, it's progress, I suppose. And uh, as you can see, we're coming on to the last lap. This series always so, goes so quick in terms of the races, which is what I love about it, actually. It's quite a short series and something that's quite fun to do. And obviously, it's Lotus after this. So make sure to have a, have a look in the comments for the Lotus vote. And make sure to vote for either Kimi or Roman Grosjean in this 2013 Grand Prix for episode 8. Which should be out in the next few days. And Vettel is leading this Grand Prix. Hamilton's gained on us yet again. And unfortunately for us, unless um, somebody crashes like last time, I believe it's going to be 8th place again in this, in this McLaren. And I can't speak today, honestly. It, my commentary is just awful. 
But anyway, um, we're going to try and catch up to Hamilton, which, in all fairness, you know, unless he clash crashes or clashes with the car ahead, I very much doubt we'll catch him. And Hamilton's now 3.3 seconds ahead, so we've gained a little bit of time. But really, all in the first lap was how the action happened. Not really anything in the last two laps to certainly put on the highlights reel for this series. So, uh, as you can see, Hamilton is quite far ahead. And unless, like I say, he collides with the car ahead, we're going to come home and consolidate, really, in this McLaren car. I suppose, really, because the Force Indies were battling with the Mercedes, not the Mercedes, the McLarens in this season. It does kind of make sense that we're about the same performance as them, I suppose. But um, it is a bit of a shame that we couldn't improve on last time. We haven't really improved in the last few episodes, to be fair. We've always been floating around the point, but uh, we are going to finish... 8th place this time unless we got a stupid penalty like we did in episode 3 I think it was but anyway we come across the line with Button to finish 8th well Button doesn't look pleased with that but no, I'm not I'm not too pleased but I'm sati I think that's a satisfactory result for us in this Grand Prix and as you can see we are just there so Perez actually in our other in our uh, sister McLaren actually finished 5th but obviously he started a lot higher up, so we probably had an unfair advantage, if you want to call it that. We had a poor fastest lap compared to, well, as you can see, as we go down, we, we got the, fat, the slowest lap by far out of the top eight. And as you can see, Hamilton finished just ahead of us. Vettel in first. Did anybody drop, drop down this time? Chilton finished last. Van der Gaard had a good race, and Nico Hulkenberg dropped back quite a bit in this race. To episode 8, we'll be the, with the load so of either Grosjean or Raikkonen, so make sure to vote for that down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyway, guys, it's just been, the commentary's just been awful today. Oh, I do apologise. Like I said, I had too much Baileys in that pudding yesterday. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I've been reviewing Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.